Hi everyone! It's Anne here from Ann Makes. Welcome! Thank you so much for stopping by. Today will be the second video in the series of the Craft Room Tour 2018 update. Today we're going to look at my Cricut Corner. That's right. Let me show you how I store and organize all my supplies and tools that I own that are from Cricut. As you may know already, I do work as an influencer and blogger for Cricut, and they do occasionally pay me for uh, posts and videos. So I do receive a lot of materials and supplies and tools from them, but I have also always loved using their products. Be this is before I even had the opportunity to work with them. So if you're interested in seeing how I store my Cricut supplies and a lot of what is stored right here behind me in this part of my studio or craft room, stay tuned. As we enter my studio, this is the right side or west side of the room. On this laminate countertop, I store my machines. Here hanging on the side of the cupboard is a Cricut self-healing mat that has a decorative backing. So it looks very pretty on one side and on the other side it has all the grids and markings to make cutting easier and straighter. So here on top of the counter is the cuddle book which is a manual die cutting machine and there's the cuddle bug himself. I've had him for over a decade and here are some rotary tools, an applicator tool and a scraper that are hanging on pegboard hooks on the pegboard. I love having pegboard in my studio. It is such a space saver. It is a great way to hang, store, and organize a lot of supplies. Going back around the corner, there's the cuddle bug again. And the cuddle bug will cut any steel die as long as it's not wider than six inches. You can cut 12 inch long dies as long as you have the cutting pad and plates in the right length. Here I show you where I hang extra blades. Now that I own a Cricut Maker, I have the option of using so many different types of blades and housing that I keep them in these little containers from the dollar store, which I have labeled with a green tape and a white label. I use green for identifying Cricut items and tools and supplies that I have in my, my studio uh, just to make it easier and faster for me to retrieve those items when I'm working on posts and videos. Down there you could see some of the marking pens, the disappearing ink marking pens for fabric, some more housing and some more blades. I hang the variety of Cricut, mat, Cricut cutting mats on the pegboard as well. There are different kinds of cutting mats depending on what kind of material you use in your Cricut Explore Air and your Cricut Maker. They're also on the pegboard. I uh, hope you can see that. Hanging is a paper trimmer. I find it very convenient to have it there near my machines. I also have an old Gypsy and an old uh, Cricut Imagine. Those are no longer available. Uh, there's the Cricut Explorer Air 2, the electronic die cutting machine. It is available at Cricut.com and through Amazon as well. And here is my Cricut Maker. I love the handy dandy little storage compartments at the top as you can see. I fit in a lot of the tools that are made to enhance using the Cricut Maker. Uh, the Cricut Maker can cut fabric, can cut leather, very thin wood, chipboard, cardboard, thin metals, and so there's a slew of mater materials, tools, and mats available for that. At the end of the cupboards here, there was a space that would normally be covered up with a filler piece, uh, but now it is where I store my rolls of Cricut vinyl. 
those things like to roll around and I just thought that was a great place to put them. Here again is a shot of the Cricut self-healing mat. And inside the cupboards is where I store my papers. Not all of these are Cricut, but there's a lot of Cricut product paper in here. I store them in cropper hoppers on their side inside these cupboards that are specific, were specifically made to hold my papers. My Cricut pens are stored in this little pencil box, and of course it is labeled. Here are some art bins that are sold especially to hold those Cricut cartridges. Now Cricut does not make cartridges anymore, but if you have any left, I find this is an absolutely fabulous way to store them. Now, behind the cupboards here, I am about to show you where I store my steel cut dies, my embossing plates, all the plates and cutting pads for the cuddle bug and other manual die cutting machines that I own. So these are drawers that pull out and there on the right hand side are a bunch of cutting pads including pads for my cuddle book. I do have other pads. I do work with a number of companies and so I have other brands in there as well. But today I'm just focusing on the Cricut brand. In the second drawer I have most of the steel dies. Here are some uh, no longer available cuddle bug dies. These were the first dies that came out with the first version of the cuddle bug, but I still use them, so I've kept them and I store them in these clear acrylic bins that I bought at the dollar store. I've kept the packaging as separators, and these are the newer steel dies that are made currently and are currently available through Cricut.com and Amazon and probably at Michael's and Joann's. And what I've done is I've taken them out of the package and I have used some magnetic sheets to store my dies in a safe manner. Uh, I should have another video just on that, on how I put those together. And this is the kind of adhesive magnet sheet that I use. I get these at the dollar store. And the last and lower drawer in this cupboard is where I store embossing folders. The, many of them are cuddle bug and I just reuse the packaging and create little folder holders for them. As for the Cricut Bright Pad, I have sewn a special pouch for that, which is in another video. And I store that under my desk on the front side in this little space right here. I can show you, it's tucked in nice and safe in there. And there it is. Now going back around this corner, I've already shown you where I store my old Cricut cartridges in these art bins. There's a cabinet, or a cupboard door, I should say, and behind that door, there is a sticky back hook that is holding a ruler that I use with the rotary tool, rotary cutting tools, and the self-healing mat, all from Cricut. And as for the Easy Press, I store that in a drawer in that same corner. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of where I store mostly my Cricut products. And for more information and details, please visit my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com. There I will provide lots of product affiliate links, so if just to be 
open about this if you do click on those links and make a purchase i do get a very small commission so thank you for that full transparency here uh, this video is being made because i do have a paid blog post for cricut on my blog going on at the same time and uh, i want you to know again that cricut gave me all these products but i sincerely do enjoy working with them I want to thank you very much for stopping by today and viewing this video in the series of Craft Room Tour 2018 update. <laughs> and I uh, hope you got some ideas. Please come back to see more videos about how I store everything else in this room. There's a lot to film and a lot to show you. So I'm working hard for you and stay tuned and thank you again for watching. Stay crafty. Bye.